find is basically traditional with a bit of contemporary styling and the fact that you're all going to play a part in the order of service today. So I know not everybody can stand up front, but you will have a part to play. I'm going to be asking uh, the uh, blessing of the immediate family at one point in the service, and then I'm going to look all of you who are witnesses to the vows being made, and I'm going to ask, will you do all in your power to support and uphold this marriage? And I really want to hear a resounding point well. Bride and groom don't know this is going to be happening. Okay? <laughs> all righty. So remember, remember your cue. Now, after the wedding, uh, Corey then, and, uh, Corey, <laughs> Robbie then, who's excited? I am so excited about this wedding. We've been working on this for a long time. And uh, like I said the other day, it's about time. But that, uh, so Robbie Lynn and Corey will be going directly down the aisle and on to having pictures taken. They're having family pictures and that type of thing. So you can just continue. There's a reception out in the foyer out there starting at 5, and it follows with the dinner later. So I want you all to have a great time today. I know you will. You've all got cameras. Don't be afraid to use them and uh, take all the pictures that you like. We're going to be signing the marriage register just around the corner. You'll be able to see once the, the guys get out of the way, you'll be able to see them uh, uh, signing the register at the same time. So thank you very much and enjoy the day. Hello. How are you? <laughs>
Dear friends, we have come together in the presence of our friends and family to witness the marriage of Robbie Lynn and Corey this day. Let us be reminded today that marriage is a wonderful gift of the Spirit, a commitment that husband and wife give themselves to each other in love and to grow together and to be fulfilled in that love. The union of man and woman in heart, body, and mind is intended for their mutual comfort and help, that they may know each other with delight and tenderness in acts of love. Let us also be reminded that in marriage, husband and wife give themselves to each other, and they care for each other in good times and in bad. They are linked to each other's families, and they begin a whole new life in the community. It's a way of life that all should reverence, and none should likely undertake. If anyone present today knows a reason why Corey and Robbie Lynn may not long be married, they must declare it now. Robbie Lynn and Corey, if either of you know a reason why you may not long be married, you must declare it now. And who gives this woman to be married to this man? I do. Thank you very much. You may be seated, please. So today, Robbie and Corey have now come to enter into the holy estate of matrimony. They have complied with civil and canon law and have been duly prepared to enter into this marriage. They will each give their consent to the other. They will exchange solemn vows, and in token of this, they will each give and receive a ring. Corey, do you give yourself to Robbie Lynn this day to be her husband and her partner in life? Will you love her and comfort her, honor and protect her? And forsaking all others, will you stay only with her so long as you both shall live? Thank you. Robbie Lynn, do you give yourself to Corey this day to be his wife and his partner in life? To love him, to comfort him, to honor and protect him and forsaking all others, to be faithful to him so long as you both shall live? You bet. <laughs> I look to the immediate members of the families of both Robbie Lynn and Corey, and I ask if you give your blessing to this marriage today. We do. we do. And for all of you who have come, you are all witnesses to the vows being made this day. Will you do all in your power to support and uphold this marriage? We do. They do. <laughs> That's what I'd like to hear. <laughs> Just before we continue on, I would like to read a letter to Corey and to Robbie Lynn. It's a letter that was written a very long time ago. Actually, it's a letter that was written over 2,000 years ago. But it's a letter that we could receive in our mailboxes or through the internet at any time to remind us of where our place is in our relationships and in this world. It was written by a man named John as he was writing to the new people in the city of Corinth. I may speak in tongues of men or of angels, but if I am without love, I am a sounding gong or a clanging cymbal. I may have the gift of prophecy. I may know every hidden truth. I may have faith strong enough that I can move mountains, but if I have no love, I have nothing. Love is patient, love is kind, it envies no one. Love is never boastful, nor conceited, nor rude. Love is never selfish, not quick to take offense. Love keeps no score of wrongs, and it does not gloat over other men's sins, but it delights in what is the truth. There is nothing, then, that love cannot face. There is no limit to its faith, its hope, and its endurance. Love will never come to an end. In a word, there are three things that last forever, faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of them all is love. Isn't it amazing, over all these centuries, and the truth still prevails. Well, they say love is forever. Well, love can be, if you, if you really want it. They also say that marriages are made in heaven. Inspired, perhaps, but a marriage for all of us is nurtured right here among your family, among your friends today. As we come with 
Robbie, Lynn, and Corey as they commit themselves one to the other in mind, body, and spirit. Marriage, marriage, you know, is a team sport, a time to cheer up our victories, a time to retreat with dignity, even a time to step aside while your mate advances. The sign of a great team is pulling the best out of each other. And so we are here to celebrate today a new team, team members. But we're all on a team, you know, all of us who sit here because we have relationships too. Teams in life, in marriage partners, friendship partners, children to their parents, all of us are or should be team players as we take on the changes and chances of this world. You know, you wonder sometimes, how does a clergyman, how does a pastor make a decision that, yeah, this is really going to be the thing for this couple? Well, Robbie Lynn said something to me a while ago, which she may have forgotten, but I haven't, that really made me decide, yep, these two are forever. It seems that Robbie Lynn and Corey one night had a little bit of a misunderstanding that ultimately led to Robbie Lynn sleeping on the couch that night. <laughs> but it appears that within 20 minutes, Robbie Lynn was back to bed with Corey, but with great explanation, I'm still mad at you, but I missed you. <laughs> and as soon as she said that, the lights went off. <coughs> yeah, I think that's, that's for real. So marriages, are definitely inspired by heaven, but they are made right here on this earth. Each day we love and we respect each other. Love is forever, only if you want it. And so we continue on now with the exchange of marriage vows. We're going to begin first with the groom, Corey.
between Robbie Lynn and Corey. May their lives together signify true love in this broken world so that unity may overcome estrangement, forgiveness, heal guilt, and joy overcome despair. Our hope in the life of the community can be found in both Corey and Robbie Lynn, that the strength of their love and commitment may enrich our common life and celebrate true faithfulness. And may their home be a place of truth, security, and love and their lives and examples of concern for others. And for all of us who have come today in celebration, may we who have witnessed these vows find our lives strengthened and our loyalties conferred. And now calling all who are present today, both friends and family, we ask your pledge of support, encouragement, and blessing for Corey and Robbie Lynn, that they may so love, honor, and cherish each other in faithfulness and patience, and that their home may be a haven of blessing and peace. And a blessing now is given to all of you who are present. Go in peace and travel in safety. We may give thanks for this time of celebration and thanksgiving. May we go out now in the power of the Spirit to love and serve that we will be instruments of peace in our community. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to introduce to you today Mr. and Mrs. McDonald. 